Welcome to Griffin Park, where Brentford take on their own rivals Watford, who are brimming with XBs as the Bees look for their first league win in seven attempts. Brentford again suffering from a couple of injuries in midfield. But fielding the lineup that earned a hard earned point at Peterborough last Saturday. Brentford without the injured Simon Ratcliffe and Detsy Krasinski. So Channel Island, the Grant Chalmers, makes his home league debut after impressing in that game at London Road last week. Billy Manuel continues alongside him in midfield, while Paul Buckle replaces Kevin Godfrey as sub. Godfrey picking up a knock in a midweek reserve game. Goalkeeper Jerry Payton safely back from Ireland's trip to Copenhagen. He stays in goal. For Watford manager Steve Perryman, it's a return to familiar surroundings. He was manager here before Phil Holder, left to take charge of Watford in 1990. Perryman shows side shows XB Perry suckling in goal and Lee Nogan up front, while centre-half David Holdsworth is twin brother of Dean. On the bench is his new signing from Peterborough, Ken Charlery. Brentford needs to get back on winning ways. They're sitting 19th on the table, 10 points and 10 places behind Watford. But it's Watford who get us away. Pulled by Chalmers, one well, here's Blissett. Smiley, looks for Blissett, cleared by Holdsworth. Smiley. Good run. Gale Sports, Smiley shoots, and so goes there. 35 seconds on the clock. Neil Smiley picked the ball up on the left wing. He made his run, beat two defenders in typical style, fired a shot from 25 yards, just past Perry Suckling's far post. Gale wins it again. Forward by Holdsworth. Watford captain today. Gale. Now chance for Bennett. Mickey Bennett. And loses control at the vital time. Wins it back though. Tries to set up Chalmers. And it's a goal kick. Good effort there from Grant Chalmers. Mickey Bennett made the run, lost control of the ball, fed Chalmers and shot into the side netting. Chalmers and Smiley, the two Brentford men in front of the Watford wall. Manuel sends Houghton away. Bennett, not too far away from Mickey Bennett. Does well, leaves uh, Lavin for dead. Useful ball. Gale heads it back. Bennett can't turn. Chalmers. Gale. Oh, goal! It's an own goal, for, is it? It's there. Yes, it's an own goal from Trevor Putney. Brentford take the lead. 26 minutes gone. It's Brentford one, Watford nil. Marcus Gale picked the ball up on the right. He drove in a good low cross. Trevor Putney trying to stop it reaching a bees forward. Put it through the legs of Perry Suckling. Great own goal. Brentford one up. Gale, the ball. Bless it. Good return. Now Marcus Gale. Chalmers. And almost. Yeah, the horrendous mix up there before Holdsworth cleared. Watford defence was in a bit of disarray. The game really opening up. It's an entertaining game. Here's Hess and Tyler. Both teams going for goals. Good cross, Willis! So close to the equaliser there from Roger Willis. Good break from Watford. They broke down the Marcus Gale chance, raced up the other end. The cross came in from Andy Hess and Tyler, and Willis' header no more than a couple of yards over that bar. Putney. Well in by Bates. Holdsworth. Chalmers. Tackle there by Willis. Luscom. Hewton. Bliss it. Left it well now. Gale. Must be. And although Suckling saved, I kind of have a feeling Gale should have scored. Great bit of play, superb dummy from Gary Blissett. And Marcus Gale's shot saved by Suckling. Smiley. Statham. Looks for Gale. Luscombe! 
was surprised that he got the chance, I think. So, 14 minutes gone in this second half. Brian Statham. Chalmers, foul on Chalmers there by Porter. Kick taken quickly, Millen. Millen shoots, good effort. B skipper there nearly getting his uh, second goal of the season. Charlery. Interchange with the other sub Porter. Gets it across and Furlong. Not too far away there. The cross came in from Gary Porter and Watford just fighting back into this game now. Well in by Bates. Holdsworth. Gale. Tackled by Solomon. Blissett. Luscombe. The ball. Gale! How did he miss? How did he miss? Great play by Brentford. Blissett, great layoff to Luscombe. Beautiful cross from Lee Luscombe. Again along the ground like Gales for the goal. But how did Marcus Gale miss that from inside the six yard box? I'll never know. That was uh, Drysdale, it's there. The equaliser. I think it's Lee Nogan. Well, it was on the cards, they threatened it. And Lee Nogan it is. And with 13 minutes to go, it's Brentford one, Watford one. It's been quite a fast open game of football. And Furlong. Wins the corner. Drysdale to take this kick for Watford, their sixth corner, all in the last half hour. And the header from Furlong saved on the line by Suck uh, Payton. One minute to go. Out by Millen. It def must have deflected off uh, the forwards. Well, it's well gone 10 to 5 now. Shows how much extra time there's been in this game. And that's it. Final whistle. Disappointment for the Bees. But final score in front of a crowd of 8,490 was Brentford 1, Watford 1.